In late 2007, Snow Aviation International, with assistance from General Atomics, began initial testing and demonstrations of the Messier Bugatti designed and built carbon-carbon brakes for a C-130 aircraft. These brakes are the latest in a family of improved braking systems developed by Messier Bugatti to improve the performance, durability, maintainability, and life cycle cost of the legacy aircraft they are designed for. With several years of C-130 flight test and demonstration experience for U.S. Department of Defense, Snow Aviation was a natural choice for conducting the demonstration tests because their C-130E testbed aircraft was already outfitted with aircraft data acquisition instrumentation for recording performance-based flight test data, but required some upgrades to support testing of Messier Bugatti's new brakes. First, the test aircraft brake system was upgraded by installing the HydroAir Mark II anti-skid system with multi-disc steel rotor brakes and increased hydraulic pressure at the brakes to 3,000 PSI. This brake system configuration would be representative of the latest fleet-configured C-130 aircraft. All hydraulic tubing and electrical installations had to be designed in-house by Snow Aviation because no Air Force TCTO documentation, kits, or parts had been previously developed to incorporate this particular configuration change and associated part fabrication. In addition to the brake system upgrade, the Snow Aviation Flight Test Instrumentation Suite was expanded to include hydraulic brake pressure anti-skid control signals, and brake temperature monitoring. Once the testbed's brake system and instrumentation was upgraded, testing began with the steel brakes. The Snow Aviation and General Atomics team worked to capture the steel brakes' performance as baseline data to compare to the Messier Bugatti carbon-carbon brakes. This testing included a variety of gross weights to represent typical mission weights for the C-130. Rejected takeoff testing included dry runway as well as wet runway conditions. A quick look data analysis was performed between each data run while waiting for the brakes to cool. This was done to verify proper aircraft brake system operation for each data point and to enhance data comparisons between the steel and carbon brake configurations. For the wet runway portion of the testing, Snow Aviation flew the C-130 testbed to Atlantic City, New Jersey in order to use the FAA-regulated wet runway test facilities. Testing began with two dry runway landings to establish baseline and to coordinate crew actions. The active runway was then wetted down in a controlled manner to simulate rainy weather conditions, after which two landings were performed on the wet runway. However, due to a failed anti-skid valve, most of the data from that day was invalid. Using lessons learned from New Jersey, further wet testing was done at Rickenbacker International Airport to save cost and schedule. Once the baseline testing was completed, Snow Aviation's C-130 aircraft was reconfigured with the Messier Bugatti carbon-carbon brakes. This upgrade included the carbon-carbon brake assemblies and slotted main landing gear wheels. The carbon-carbon brake assemblies provide greater friction and heat tolerance while weighing less and lasting an estimated seven times longer than the steel brakes currently in use. Slots in the wheels made specifically for the Messier Bugatti carbon-carbon brakes provide faster cooling rates for the brakes while maintaining all the necessary strength of the solid original wheel configuration. After installing the Messier Bugatti brakes, 
The Snow Aviation General Atomics team began testing by first completing low-speed functional check taxi tests. The team went on to complete the same testing that had been completed with the steel brakes, starting with the same rejected takeoffs as performed for the baseline data. The flight test crew observed very quickly how the carbon-carbon brakes stopped the aircraft more effectively without fade that is characteristic of steel brakes and cooled much faster. The team also noted improved stopping performance at higher gross weights. On Friday, December 14, 2007, November 307 Sierra Alpha taxied to the outside runway at Rickenbacker International Airport at a gross weight of 175,000 pounds, the maximum combat emergency condition weight allowable in any C-130. With brakes intentionally machined down to only 10% of their useful life remaining, after ensuring safety measures were in place, the Snow Aviation and General Atomics test team performed a rejected takeoff using only the Messier Bugatti carbon-carbon brakes to come to a complete stop. This test condition exposed the brakes to friction energy levels that would have destroyed the original steel brakes on the C-130. After completing the stop, the crew taxied 307 Sierra Alpha off the runway where Snow Aviation, Messier Bugatti, and General Atomics monitored the landing gear for 10 minutes before allowing fire department personnel to water cool the brakes and wheels. These precautions protected all personnel from any possible exploding tires or wheels that would be a real possibility with the original steel brake configuration. Post-testing inspection of the brakes showed no apparent damage. When testing was completed and all the data was examined, results showed that the Messier-Bugatti carbon-carbon brakes did not shorten braking distances compared to the steel brakes at lighter gross weights, where anti-skid performance was a controlling factor. The anti-skid limited performance was an effect of the HydroAir Mark II anti-skid recovery response after a skid event sometimes inhibiting brake performance for up to three seconds after a skid. The steel brakes performed minimally better than the carbon-carbon brakes when anti-skid operation was a dominant factor, and where the carbon-carbon brakes had greater torque capability. In these situations, the anti-skid system more actively inhibited the carbon-carbon brake compared to the steel brake. The carbon-carbon brakes did, however, improve the braking distances at heavier operating weights where tires had greater traction and anti-skid performance was not the dominant factor. The improved brake performance with greater energy capacity and improved thermal performance will provide the C-130 fleet with greater flexibility for mission planning and execution as well as providing a greater margin of safety. The carbon-carbon brake installation is 260 pounds lighter than the steel brake configuration and provides over 1,000 aircraft brake landings before requiring brake change. The tested brakes and wheels showed no faults during the hard braking tests conducted. The Snow Aviation General Atomics demonstration testing of the Messier Bugatti carbon-carbon brakes clearly shows many advantages over the current C-130 steel brakes. Further data on the Messier Bugatti brakes is available from General Atomics in a final written report.